If you've been keeping tabs on what's going on with Blueface and Krishan, you know there's another person in the picture, Lil Ma Bo. The young rapper released a diss track for Blueface, and Blueface isn't happy with it at all. Lil Ma Bo may be in danger, because Blueface isn't one to let things slide. And here's how the rapper reacted. Blueface has had one of the most terrible celebrity relationships with Krishan. If there's a word worse than toxic, it would perfectly describe how their relationship was. Even now that it's over, Krishan announced a pregnancy for Blueface at the beginning of 2023, and fans felt a mix of emotions. Some were happy for her, while others were wondering if she was making the right decision. Nobody can say if the decision was right or wrong, but we all have our opinions. Anyway, while fans were sharing their thoughts on the pregnancy, Blueface was sure that the baby wasn't his. In fact, he claimed that she had slept with over 10 guys when she traveled to Baltimore. It was after she returned, she tried to pin another man's pregnancy on her, and Krishan wasn't happy with the news. She eventually debunked the rumor and said Blueface was mad because she traveled to Baltimore without telling her. But it didn't end there because Blueface went on his Twitter and posted, to answer all your questions, yes, me and Rock are officially done. It's strictly business. I tried it, and clearly it wasn't given. Before she announces she's pregnant with somebody else's child, not mine. With the pregnancy, the blue face breakup, and her fluctuating music career, Krishan had a lot to face ahead of her. She knew that the chances of her getting back with blue face were not low, but it was going to be hard. Although at some point, Blueface accepted the baby as his. And he still stated that he was gonna get a DNA test. You don't, yeah. you don't like, think it's yours? That's an eight out of 10 chance. I think it's, I mean, yeah. that's pretty good odds. Okay. So that's, a, that's an 80% chance, but I'm gonna be realistic with myself. If I know this person's, if I catch you cheating, it's different. You feel me? Mm -hmm. If I don't catch you, all right. Blueface believed that there was only eight out of 10 chance that the baby Krishan was pregnant with was his. And Krishan decided to move on with her life. After giving birth, Krishan named her baby after herself. And of course, people weren't pleased. But she went through her pregnancy journey herself, facing backlash at every turn, yo. So this was like a little win for her. Krishan's new baby didn't stop the drama between her and Blueface, who went ahead to get back with his ex and first baby mama. Jaden Alexis. If you don't know who Jaden is, she was the one that knocked out Krishan's front tooth. Oh, mm -hmm. she's the reason, bro. I thought you weren't around during the early days of the of the show. I've been around. No, I mean like I knew you were around, but I didn't think you were like hanging no, out at okay. the house. That, that. That no, okay, that's wasn't hanging besides out the, the point. House. That's the but it, it, that just happened because he was lying about what was really going on over there, and it didn't even need to. It wasn't even meant to be that way. It was just whoever the. I saw first. Technically, Jaden didn't particularly knock out Krishan's front tooth as Chris slipped during their fight. And that was when she lost the tooth. But Blueface will still tell any story to get his point across. Now that he's no longer with Chris. Although Blueface and Krishan ended their relationship, Blueface continued to push MILF music, his record label, and signed Jaden to Lexus. As an announcement of her joining the label, Jaden released Barbie which was a diss track for Krishan Rock. It's almost like Chris can't get a break with how she has to run around for her newborn, make money from shows and interviews, and also protect herself from backlash that a relationship with Blueface brings. In a song Jada rap, you a little girl, you can't walk in these hills. I'll eat a D before I ever pay the bills. I'm a wife, you a trife B, sis need to heal. This is my day. This was just the first few lines of the first verse, and Jaden was already taking shots at Krishan Rock. Further into the song, she rapped. I heard your little snippet, sis. Called my doctor and I told him snippet. Sis, I'm a Barbie. Still ain't seen a dentist, sis. That's blasphemy. This line was directed at Krishan's missing tooth, which Jaden Alexis claimed to knock out. Krishan doesn't appear to be insecure about the missing tooth because she never bothered to get it filled after it fell out years ago. So this line was probably a miss on Jaden's side, but that didn't stop her from continuing the diss. In the second verse she rapped, this my D sis, you ain't know the baby dad? Now, Jaden Alexis was entering deep waters and entangling herself in one of the most complicated relationships ever. But she has been with Blueface for the longest of times, so she knows how it is with him. It turned out that Blueface wrote the song for Jaden, 
which began to make a lot of sense. Now, it was time for Krishan to respond. And that's when Lil Ma Boo got into the picture. Lil Ma Boo, whose real name is Matthew Peter DeLuca, was born on April 4th, 2005. He started rapping in 2019 and went viral after releasing Miss Me in 2020. He went viral on TikTok in 2022 when he released No Snitching, and that gave him a little fame in the industry. But he had a long way to go. In 2023, Lil Ma Boo announced that he was going to Emory University to continue his education while making music. He wanted to prove to rappers that it was possible to get good grades while pursuing a career you love on the side, which is already paid off for. Two weeks after Jaden Alexis released her diss track aimed at Krishan Rock, Lil Ma Boo and Chris got together to respond. They released Mr. Take Your B which got one million views in its first day of release. But what about this song was so great that made people jump at it with so much enthusiasm. Take a look at the lyrics. At the beginning, Lil Ma Boo rapped. Yes, I took his lady. I like blue faces, so I took his baby. Lil Ma Boo claiming he took blue faces baby could only mean two things. He had either started dating Krishan Rock or he was taking a father role for her new child. Chris then followed up rapping, F Blueface. I had to find a new bag with my boo. F what you say. I might put it in his face, cause he want to taste. Only thing that's broke is my effing water. Gave birth to my kid, but I hate his father. I used to F with blues, now I F with ones. Only F with white boys. It was obvious that Krishan was ready to go all in against Jaden Alexis and Blueface. From proclaiming loudly that she hated Blueface to claiming that she only liked white boys now, Krishan was ready to give Blue a taste of his own medicine. After the song dropped, everyone went into a frenzy. People were wondering if Krishan was now dating Lil Ma Boo and what Blueface was going to do next. And it didn't take long for Blueface to start talking. The day Krishan dropped the diss track, Jaden and Blueface were on the No Jumper podcast and hosts played it for them to listen and gave their thoughts. They weren't impressed, obviously. The new thing is today is she dropped a, a diss track about you. You see this, bro? That was today? Yeah. That shit what was doo doo. She's, she's dating Lil Wait, Mabu apparently. Blue water. You haven't seen it? No, I was literally getting my hair and makeup done from like 11 to 4. Bro. What do you think? That's hot dog water. <laughs> yeah, it's so terrible. <laughs> Jaden Alexis felt like Krishan and Lil Mabu were doing it for clout which may have been true on Lil Ma Boo's part. He was trying to garner attention for his new album that he is planning to drop. And riding on the Blueface and Krishan drama wasn't that much of a bad idea to him. For Krishan Rock, she was likely airing her feelings. And there was no way Jaden could be so sure of her claims. Also, Jaden said she didn't feel threatened by the diss track. The Blueface definitely felt threatened by Lil Ma Boo, which he expressed on Twitter. Blueface posted a picture of a search he made in the Recording Industry Association website and captioned it. This will tell you all you need to know. It was a screenshot of the search showing no result, which was obviously about Lil Ma Boo having zero platinum records. Lil Ma Boo retweeted the tweet and wrote, cause I didn't sign a 360 label deal like you did. We independent, watch this. At this point, everyone knew the tension was growing and Lil Ma Boo wasn't gonna back down until he had completely broken Blueface. Lil Ma Boo started posting TikToks and Krishan Rock painting them as a couple. In one video, Krishan was sleeping beside him and Lil Ma Boo captioned it, my little baddie. Krishan, on the other hand, was also making Blueface as uncomfortable as possible. She got a tattoo on her lower abdomen, which said, my boo's she previously has a blue face tattoo in that area and was now telling Blue to suck it and hit the road. Lil Ma Boo threw more shots at Blueface on Twitter when he posted a picture of Blueface and Krishan and adored it with the heartbreak emoji. Beside that picture, he posted another of him and Krishan and captioned the post. This is what growth looks like. Then, on the 28th of October, Krishan tweeted, I got receipts. You just called me crying about me being with my boo. So on the outside, Blueface was making it seem like he was done and over with Krishan Rock. But he was calling and complaining about Krishan hanging out with my boo. I wonder how Jaden would feel about this. Amidst all this drama, Blueface came out to reveal that Lil My Boo was under his record label. In a tweet that he made on October 30th, Blueface wrote, Everyone, 
I want to introduce you to my newest artist on MILF music. Lil my boo. He's about to blow the fuck up. Now hold on a minute. Was Blueface actually serious about Lil My Boy being signed to his label? When he started the label, Blueface stated that it was going to be for only single mothers. So him claiming to sign Lil My Boy was shocking and questioning. People wanted to play it off as a joke, but he made another post listing the artists under MILF music. In the list, he mentioned Jaden Alexis, Krishan Rock, Lil My Boy, Jay Cinco, and Exo Rico. Okay. Now, things are becoming more serious. It was either Blueface was making his artists diss themselves for clout, or he was claiming that he was solely responsible for helping these artists build their career. If Lil My Boy and Krishan Rock are actually under Blueface, it would be very disappointing because they have taken their fan base for fools. Imagine clowning yourself for views and streams when a head of your label would take a significant chunk of your earnings. But what would be way worse is if Krishan isn't actually in on the whole clout chasing saga and has been taken advantage of for the sake of Blueface wanting to promote his label. There are so many layers to the story and it would take only the truth from all parties involved to understand what's really going on. Krishan most likely hates Blueface and he's riding on that hate to promote his label. But do you think Krishan is in on the plan too? Or is this another plan by Blueface to make money off of her while not being directly involved with her? What do you think the deal is?